Welcome back everybody to Orange Track Outlaws. Today we are going to restore this uh, 1984 Hot Wheels Buzz Off Redline. Um, this thing's been sitting on the shelf for a while. Thought it was about time to get this ugly looking thing off the shelf and into the paint booth and bring her back to life. As you can see, somebody had some fun with this, did, some, did a little custom painting of their own. But we're going to turn this thing back into a nice little spectra frame looking uh, red line. So let's jump on in and get to it here. So here comes our custom hauler bringing our project in. Like I said earlier, we got the Hot Wheels um, 1984, I believe, red line buzz off edition. So this thing's got uh, some crazy paint job going on there. I don't know what's got what this guy had going on, but we're gonna get it taken apart. We're gonna get her all sandblasted up, cleaned up. We're gonna get that base cleaned up. We're gonna get them wheels fixed, and see if we can't bring this bad boy back to life. It uh, should be a pretty straightforward restoration, um, as long as as long as the body isn't in too bad a shape. After we get that paint off, we'll get a good look at it. But first, we're gonna start off by uh, center punching our rivets here, since this is uh, one of the older red lines. The posts um, kind of mushroom out instead of inward like the newer ones do. So it's a little harder to drill those out if you don't center punch them. So that's what I like to do. Uh, put a little, couple little punches right there in the middle, as close as you can to the middle, and uh, try to get in there with a a smaller a drill bit, get it started, and get your bigger drill bit in there around that uh, around that head off there. It should come right apart. So it looks like this buzz off was originally supposed to be blue by looking at the uh, faded colors on the inside. And this thing's pretty nasty on the, on the inside as far as the body goes too. It's going to need a good cleaning. More than likely we'll just put it in the same blast box too, get it all cleaned up. Um, interior, really pretty basic, just needs cleaned up. This windshield is a disaster. It's got paint on it, scratches, dirt, but ought to be able to get that cleaned up too. So here's a look at our body. Um, by looking at the inner side, you can see it looks like it was originally blue. Um, Got a little, uh, got an issue with the hinge there. We'll have to correct that uh, a little bit later. So here we go, straight out of the sandblast box. We got our chassis here. We're gonna we're gonna get it uh, cleaned up here with the wire brush. Get a good look at it. But uh, usually this this pretty much does the trick. We'll hit it with a little bit of polish, and uh, that body or that chassis should look pretty good right after that. Shouldn't be a problem. So, it might be a little hard to see here. Um, I do like to use a little bit of a, a wire wheel box with uh, some plexiglass in front because them wire wheels just, you know, they throw debris out and I don't like it too much. So, here's a good look at it. Um, chassis looks pretty good. We're going to move on to the body. The paint came off nice and easy in the sandblast box. Um, so, we're going to hit this thing with the wire brush. And get all that uh, get all that media residue from the blast box off there, and then see what we got to work with here. But uh, the idea is to um, go spectra flame. So hopefully our body isn't in uh, in too bad a shape, you know, with pitting and all that. And I'll be able to hit it with a little bit of sandpaper, a couple rounds of sandpaper, a little uh, a little four out steel wool, and then a little polish and should be ready for some paint after that shouldn't be a problem um, <clears throat> overall pretty easy here restoration uh, once we get once we get going in the paint booth you know usually gonna hit it with uh, probably at least three three to five coats of uh, paint depending on how, how rich you want the color to be so Body's in actually pretty good shape. Like I said, we'll get her sanded up, polished up. It's looking pretty good right now. So we'll move on to um, painting here. So we're gonna go with a lime apple uh, Spectra Flame paint from the Redline shop. So see how this goes here. 
um, just mix it with a little bit of a little bit of hardener there and um, I think I'm painting this at about 40 psi and just gonna get a good tack coat um, like all the other spectra flame uh, rounds just go ahead and get a nice uh, light first tack coat get the color started and then uh, start building up from there so we're gonna let this sit for five to ten minutes or so and uh, then we'll come back here for um, to start coating on some more layers here so coat number two coming up hope to keep trying to build this lime apple color um, first time I've used this color so not quite sure what to expect as the color gets gets built on there but you know it's looking a little gold here in the video I can see that but um, it actually you know it looks it looks a lot more you know more limey than uh, than gold but that's uh, code two it went on pretty good um, code three here we ought to be able to to get a nice saturation coat here you know, ought to be able to bring out some of that some of that um, that lime apple color a little bit more in this coat uh, looking pretty good. Everything's going on pretty good. Um, I think we had, a, we had a pretty pretty good looking shiny base, so that seems to be coming through there. So this uh, this coat going on a little heavier than usual, but um, there you go in the light. You can kind of see that um, that apple color in the light looks pretty good. Um, we hit that with a little 2K clear, and on to um, final assembly. You can take a look at this windshield cleaned up beautifully. Um, basically, it was just a, a lot of sanding, um, a little bit of polish, and then a little bit of floor cleaner. Um, we got our uh, redline wheels back on here. Our base is all nice and polished. Everything's looking good here. Um, here's our body, all fresh uh, from the clear coat, all dried, ready to roll. Um, nice lime apple looking color, polished engine. Uh, we got our hinge, our hinge um, pinned down a little bit so it doesn't come off anymore. So all that should be good to go. So if you remember when we started how, how nasty that windshield looked, this thing actually cleaned up real nice. Uh, I did put it in some super clean for a little bit. That got a lot of the paint off. Then I went and sanded it real well with um, 1000 grit. Now I sanded it a little more with some 1500 grit and then some 2000 grit sandpaper and then I polished her up a little bit with some 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 plastic polish and uh, then I put it into some uh, floor polish or some pledge uh, floor cleaner there and it turned out you know way better than expected so as we go ahead and get these screws put in here uh, I like to use on these old redline cars. I like to use the uh, 172 screws. They're a little thinner than the 256s. Um, with those old redline cars, the posts are um, they're just a little bit skinnier and just enough to where those 256s really want to kind of blow out the side or something. So um, I like to go with these ones. They're just a little smaller, but they seem to they seem to work well, um, especially if you have you know an issue drilling that post out or tapping it um, with the bigger with the bigger 256 you know you can really screw that post up really fast so I like to use a smaller one um, tends to go together a lot nicer so just about got this bad boy done as soon as I get these uh, posts screwed in we'll be able to get it on the on the turntable let you get a, a final look at it uh, under under some better light here but First, quick step back and take a look what we started with. The Hot Wheels Red Line 1984 um, Buzz Off Edition. So, as you can see, this thing is well played with. Looks like somebody had a lot of fun with it. Um, original color, I believe, was blue. And then somebody went and, I don't know, must have been feeling patriotic or something, but um, they went a little crazy. 